chiropractor. So a chiropractor um, checks the alignment of the spine to make sure that the nervous system, which is really what we are as nervous system doctors, is functioning at its best. And what you're learning here today and in the coming weeks is how these nerves work, where they go, and how that creates a clinical problem. And that's going to be some of the focus here today as well as we're going to talk about a couple areas of the spine. You've got the brachial plexus, which comes off the lower neck, and the lumbar plex plexus of the lower back, which you may or may not have heard those terms. But basically, all people's musculoskeletal problems come from these two areas, and we'll talk about why that's important. Uh, one of the analogies I always like to use is um, with, with the spine is um, think about the dentist. Think about what a fantastic job uh, dentistry does in this country of teaching us you know, twice a year to have them clean, and have them x-rayed every couple of years, um, brushing, flossing every day. Uh, what do you think your teeth would look like if you did nothing even at age 20? What do you think they'd look oh, like? Terrible. Oh, terrible. Okay. So that's what happens with a person's spine, too. It's not that much different than your teeth. In fact, the, the makeup of the tooth, the enamel, the, the density is very similar to the bone. And this gets ignored for a lot of people, and but it finally shows up as a symptom way down the road, or a postural deviation, like you had. That's probably how yours uh, discovered. And, but even when you get somebody who's a teenager, sometimes they've already had a problem in their spine for four or five years, and it's unfortunate. A lot of these misalignments happen um, as an infant. You know, think about um, has anybody have kids in here yet? <laughs> Younger brother. Oh, some yeah. of you have oh, been around kids. Everyone's been around kids, right? <laughs> When you, when you watch them learning how to walk, so you know, he's, he's 11 months old, 12 months old, getting up on his feet, how many times does he fall and land on his backside before he figures out getting his feet out in front of him? 50? 100? Okay. Every time you fall, have a little impact. The spine is susceptible to something move out of place. Uh, it doesn't hurt. That's something we'll talk about here in a few minutes. But these problems with your spine don't hurt when they first happen. Just like the first day of a cavity doesn't hurt. It's going to get all the way down to the nerve. Cavities have been there for a long time too, by the way. When you went to discover a cavity, that didn't happen last week. And unfortunately, a lot of people treat their health that way. They have a little ache or pain, and they would always think, as I see it every day, uh, what did I do yesterday? What did I do last week? Oh, that's right, I was out in the yard breaking. Well, you didn't create your disc problem, you know, breaking in the backyard last Sunday. If you aggravate it, you put it over the edge, we're finally going to do something about it. But most of these issues, posture-wise and structure-wise, are a long-standing process. You get nothing else, know that. 